Hey there Cancer, it's Tanisha from Tanisha's Tarot. I'm here to do a little mini reading for you for February 2020 and we can get a little tiny insight into what's in store for February. I'm going to do three cards and then some clarification and that will just give us a little bit of a message from the tarot as to what is happening for you in February. Okay, so first card that's come out is the Ten of Swords. Second card that's come out is Temperance. And the third card that's come out is the Lovers. So um, the Ten of Swords represents uh, a finalization with things, a being fed up and done with the situation. And it's very, very clear. Um, signifier of, of a shift and a change in your attitude towards a situation. So the Ten of Swords, you know, it, it relates to being done, being done with something. You're over a situation and you have all the truth you need to, to you know, make a final decision and walk away from something or someone. Now, this can have... Um, mean that there was some pain associated with it but as you decide to walk away that is when the pain begins to heal. Um, the temperance card is the next card that's come out for you and the temperance card is very much about patience. Um, it's about things working out in good time not your time. So I would say that this is in relation to the walking away from a situation, um, the ending of a um, an ongoing saga and sort of it's just reminding you to have patience with yourself as you heal from um, whatever the ending was and it doesn't necessarily need to be painful sometimes it's actually relieving um, but this reminds you to just um, you know be in a, in a, in a state of um, acceptance that things kind of go along in their own time. It's like watching grass grow. You can only um, really see it when you you look back and you go, oh, hey, that's so much longer now. Whereas if you're sitting there watching it the whole time, you won't notice the difference. Um, and then comes the lover's card. So the lover's talks of kindred spirits, a union of souls, and an ultimate compatibility. So... With this as a little story, you can see that um, a part of you completely shifted and then you went through a time of finding your acceptance about something which then puts you in a different um, energetic state that then attracted your compatible person. Um, or put you in a space where you're ready to attract your compatible person. But for the fact the lovers has shown up, it's suggesting that in February you are going to meet someone and you are going to meet someone who is compatible with your frequency and who can align with where, where you're at. And for the fact that you've actually just been through uh, a finalization of the last chapter, um, a space of acceptance, you're in a really healthy spot to find um, that compatibility with someone, you know, so that's excellent. Let's get some further clarification on this for you, Cancer. So, clarification for the Ten of Swords. Alright, so again with temperance, temperance has come up again um, and this is the clarifier for the Ten of Swords. So it's really reminding you to be patient, to step into a space of acceptance and, and perhaps it's even saying that like kind of straight away you are just accepting of that chapter being done and you're ready for um, this new phase and that like with your decision to be done with something you've actually already stepped into that space of acceptance so good work that's excellent you know um, so clarification for the temperance card we have the nine of wands 
So the Nine of Wands is about um, being in a position of um, reflection over hard work you've done and counting your achievements, like really looking back over your shoulder going, yeah, I did that hard work and here I am. So as a clarification for the temperance, this is like what I was even suggesting by the fact there was two temperances that had come up. You're already in a space of, like throughout February, you very quickly find a space of acceptance and you know the work you've done to get to where you are now. You've done an incredible amount of inner work, of letting things go, of shifting your frequency. Um, so you do reach a space of acceptance and of patience about things and um, I'm, I'm getting this thing of like you just you're having this inner knowing throughout February you're just you're really in touch with that side of yourself of, of just knowing where you need to be which is a perfect energy to attract um, a compatible partner all right so clarification for the lovers card all right, so we have the High Priestess who's come in. Um, the High Priestess talks about um, there being balance of the inner and of the outer and the power to see. This is about um, you know being very aligned spiritually and it also... Um, can have a feminine quality to it in that it's quite nurturing but as Cancerians that's like you guys are quite nurturing but as a clarifier for the lovers this is really beautiful because it's a balanced union it's signifying a power to see each other and a spiritual connection that is of a higher level so that's a really beautiful clarifier for the lovers and also for the fact that it's a two she's is the Priestess is the second um, major arcana. So again, it's about balance and union and, um, you know, the two energies about two people coming together, two energies coming together, there being a nice balance there. So, yeah, congratulations for February. And I'm interested um, to hear about it in the comments if... Um, you know, throughout February these things come along for you, please do give me that feedback because, yeah, this is such a beautiful little reading for you, Cancer. All right, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing uh, and subscribing to my channel and um, I look forward to speaking with you next month. Okay, bye.